Hello and welcome to day 19 of 30 days of Photoshop. Today we're going to show you how to dodge and burn my favorite techniques in Photoshop. Hello and welcome back to 30 days of Photoshop. My name is Aaron Nace and today we're talking about dodging and burning. Now there are a couple of ways to do this in Photoshop. There's the dodge and burn tools located in Photoshop. Now I personally don't love these because they're known as destructive tools. You have to actually use them on your background layer. We're going to show you how to use those, but then we're also going to show you my favorite techniques using adjustment layers that you can turn off or on and change your intensity at any time. Let's go ahead and jump into Photoshop and show you how to do it. So here we are in Photoshop. Now let's go ahead and grab our dodge and burn tools. So they're located here in your toolbar. The dodge tool is gonna to make areas of your image brighter and the burn tool is gonna to make areas darker. So let's go ahead and grab our dodge tool. Now we're gonna go ahead, uh, affect our midtones here and our exposure. Let's just type in 10% and hit enter. What we're gonna do is basically paint over top of our subject and this is dodging, making our subject just a little bit brighter. We can go to our burn tool and we're going to paint over areas of our subject and make this just a little bit darker. Okay, so we've just successfully dodged and burned our image. Now we're going to get to what I would say is like the downside of this tool, both of these tools, is that you actually have to do them on your background layer or a layer with pixels on them. You can't do this on a new layer. Like if I create a new layer here and I go ahead and grab my dodge tool and I try to dodge on a new layer, it won't do anything at all. So you have to do this on your background or a layer with pixels on it. So that's kind of like the first main drawback. And the reason why that's a drawback is let's say you're editing your image, like you spent, you know, you started off by dodging and burning and then you're 20 minutes later editing a different part of your image. And then you look at your photo and you're like, you know what, I think I did a little bit too strong dodging and burning. I want to like lower that effect. Well, there's no way to lower that effect. I can't go in later and you know make it a little bit more subtle. That's impossible because the dodge tool and the burn tool will actually bake that information into the pixels of your image. Literally, the only way to remove this is to undo it. Like if you go into your window and you go down to your history right over here, like you can see, like I can go back to open, there we go, but let's say you did a lot of editing after that, you would lose all that editing as well. So like this is the only way to undo a dodge and a burn with the dodge and burn tools in Photoshop. This is why I don't really suggest this because you just have to go back in your history or hit control or command Z. So there's actually a much better way to do that and this is with adjustment layers. So let's go ahead and show you how to do that and then we're gonna go and show you how to get even more refined with them, those adjustment layers. So let's go to our adjustments. Now for this, you can use brightness and contrast. You can use levels, you can use curves, you can use exposure as well. Let's keep it simple by going to brightness and contrast. Now I'm gonna make our brightness a little bit brighter and we're gonna make our contrast a little bit lower. There we go. So we're gonna go back to our layers. The first thing you'll notice is instead of being baked on my background layer, this brightness and contrast, now I can turn this off or on at any time, okay? I can double click right here and I can adjust my brightness at any time and I have a layer mask here. Now for this layer mask, let's go ahead and invert this layer mask, making it black, which is gonna mean it's invisible. Then I can just use my brush tool to paint where I want it to actually be visible. Okay, so go to your layer mask and then we're gonna click here in your contextual taskbar and go to invert mask. You can also just hit control or command I. There we go, we've inverted our layer mask. Now we're gonna hit B for the brush tool and what we're gonna do with our brush tool is I'm gonna paint with white, so here, we're gonna hit D for your default colors. And if you're on a layer mask, it's going to be white is your foreground color. So I'm gonna go ahead and paint with white right here on my subject. By the way, I have my flow set to about 20% on my brush, okay? And that's just gonna allow me like a nice buildup effect. So you can see basically I'm getting almost the same exact result that I did with my dodge tool. But the nice thing here is I can turn this off and on at any point in time. And I can double click right over here and I can choose how bright or how dark I want to. And I can do this, like I can save this Photoshop document and then come back and change these settings in a year from now, right? Like at any point in time, you can change these settings. So this is why I really prefer using like brightness, contrast, curves, levels, exposure, any of those adjustment layers. I just think it's a much better way to do dodging and burning in Photoshop. Now let's go ahead and do this again. Let's create an adjustment layer. We're gonna go do brightness and contrast again. Let's go ahead and bring our uh, brightness down. Let's bring our contrast down. And then this time we're gonna click on this layer mask and hit Control or Command I to invert it. 
And then we're just gonna make this a little bit darker. There we go. And then this is going to be like our burn effect, okay? So we did a little bit of dodging. Now we're gonna do a little bit of burning. And I can double click here and I can adjust, you know, my contrast, my brightness. I can change these settings at any time, which is really, really helpful. And I can just turn off and on my dodging and burning. So that's kind of like the first step. Now I wanna introduce you to a little bit more powerful areas of dodging and burning. First is literally I was just taking my brush tool and painting with my brush tool on the layer mask here to make it visible where my subject is. That's okay, but like we have great ways of selecting our subject, right? It's really easy to select our subject and make sure, you know, these brush strokes that I did. Right now you can kind of see, like if I go in here and I make it brighter, you're seeing it's, yeah, I make my subject skin brighter, but because I just use the brush tool, a layer mask, it's also just kind of making some of my background a little bit brighter, right? Because I'm just using my brush tool. So what we can do here, which is really nice, is I can go to my background layer. I can go to select subject now. So I can just select my subject from my background layer. There we go. And then these brightness and contrast, I'm going to hit controller command G to group them together. Let's double click and I'm going to call this dodge burn. There we go. And now because I have a like a selection that I made from my background by clicking on our background layer and then going to select subject, I can go to dodge and burn and then click here on my layer mask icon. There we go. And then now anything that's in my dodge and burn group is only going to be visible where my subject is visible, right? So I can really define, okay, I just want dodging and burning to be visible where my subject is. And I can still use my brush tool to decide where I want to be brighter and where I want to be darker. But because they're now both in a group, that's basically saying, hey, only be visible in like where my subject is. Now I have a lot more control and I don't really have to worry about, you know, hey, like, is this gonna be visible on the background or just on my subject? There we go. So I can kind of refine those layer masks a little bit more and get that nice dodging and burning effect. So I can turn this off and on. We can see this is just visible on our subject. Okay. so. That's why I like to use these adjustment layers is because we can use like layers, we can use groups, we can change these settings at any time. But I wanna show you one more technique that really helps this kind of like take an extra step forward. And the reason I think this is special is because a lot of the time when you're dodging, which means making your image brighter, you really just wanna want to focus on the highlights. You wanna make your highlights a little bit brighter. When you're burning, maybe you wanna make your shadows a little bit darker. That's kind of like the goal a lot of the time. Now, if we bring in a tool called Blend If, then I can really get this dialed in and create stunning, beautiful, beautiful results. So let's go ahead and show you how to do that because it makes a big difference with dodging and burning. So here, we're gonna just start off with this, okay? And you know what? It's called Brightness and Contrast, but I'm just gonna double click and I'm gonna call that Dodge and we're just gonna call this Burn, okay? So this is my Brightness and Contrast. Now, I'm gonna double click. We'll just make our brightness a little bit stronger for showing you this effect but we're gonna go ahead and bring up Blend Diff. So to do this, just simply double click on this area here and you're gonna get your layer style. I'm gonna bring this over here to my left because what we need is just this Blend Diff. Now the cool thing about Blend Diff is I can make this visible based on the light information of my underlying layer, like my background layer, for instance. So here where it says underlying layer, what we're gonna do, we're gonna start off by holding Alt or Option and separating these two sliders out. It looks like it's one slider by default, but if you hold Alt or Option and click and drag, it separates it into two. So this is going to, as I click and drag from the left to the right, it's going to start, as you can see, focus on my image here, it's going to start making this invisible from the shadow areas of my image, making it only visible in my highlights. So if I just turn this preview off and back on, you can see how much more realistic it looks when we use this technique. Instead of just making everywhere where I painted with my brush tool brighter, okay, it's focusing on the highlights and it's going to look a lot more natural. And I can really go in here and decide how much I want that to be visible. So let's go ahead and hit okay. You can see now I've painted with my brush tool on this layer mask, okay? It's only gonna be visible where my subject is visible, and now it's only gonna be visible in the highlights of my subject. And I can still go in here and double click at any point in time to bring up my layer style, and I can decide how subtle I want this effect to be, and I can double click here on my brightness and contrast adjustment layer, and I can change my brightness at any time. So we're still able to dodge, but now look at the amount of control that I have, and I can turn it off or on at any time. Super powerful. Let's do the same thing with burning. I'm gonna go ahead, we're gonna double click, we're gonna bring our brightness down just a little bit here. But now let's double click here on this area of our image, of our layer here to get our layer style. 
and we're gonna go to our underlying layer. Now, instead of going from the left to the right, this time we're gonna go from the right to the left because we wanna make it invisible in the highlights. So we're gonna hold Alt or Option and click from the right to the left. It's gonna make this invisible in the highlights and it's gonna make it blend in and be a lot more subtle. So there's our before, or just kind of made that whole area of my subject darker. There's the after, you can see it's much more subtle and it really blends into our image. So now, as I turn on my dodging and burning, you can see we have a beautiful dodge and burn effect. I can go in here and change my brightness at any point in time. I can change my contrast at any point in time, but I can also just turn this whole effect off or on at any time. And if I want it to be more subtle, all I have to do is double click on my adjustment layers and make this more subtle. And they're both in a group. So I can just turn this whole group off and on. And here we have our dodging and burning for our subject and it's non-destructive. So this would be my preferred method. It's a lot, I know it's a lot of different steps, but the reason it's cool is I can open this up. We've painted on our layer mask for my dodge layer and my burn layer, defining where those are gonna be visible, okay? Those are both inside of a group with a layer mask, so it's only visible where my subject is. And then if I want to, at any point in time, I can go in here and lower the opacity. So that's the difference between this and then going to our background layer and literally just painting with our dodge tool. So we'll see, you know, this is with our dodge tool, just kind of painted right over there. And then our burn tool, <laughs> we paint that over there, okay? That is baked into my layer and I can't turn it off or on. So if I don't like it later, tough luck. Let's hit Control or Command Z a couple times. And then here we go, our new technique with our dodge and burn. I can just make this, yep, even as we're talking, you want your dodging effect to be brighter, there we go change it and you're good to go. Alrighty, now you can actually download the sample image and PSD totally free on flarn.com. Just click on the link right down below so you can see kind of like how these layer masks are made. You can get in here and play around and kind of like get into the mode of dodging and burning. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying this series. If you are, give us a big thumbs up on this video. It'd help out a ton. Thanks again and I'll see you tomorrow for more 30 days of Photoshop. Bye everyone.